Hi, so for this video, magsasolve tayo ng more examples on maxima and minima problems. Okay? Um, so we have here example number 3. Find the length and width of a rectangle that has the given perimeter of 80 centimeters and a maximum area. So given daw class, we have an 80, yung, yung total Okay, nung rectangle natin is 80 centimeters. And then, ano yung magiging, from that 80 centimeters, ano yung magiging dimension ng rectangle natin? And then, ano yung magiging maximum area with, ng rectangle na yan with those dimensions? Okay? So, ano yung first step natin? Una, we have to draw. Okay? So, we have a rectangle. Okay, straight yung rectangle natin. And then, um, we have width. Of course, W ang width. And then, length yung mas mahaba. And then, we have perimeter. Let P be the perimeter. Okay, let P be the perimeter. And ano ang formula ng perimeter class? Diba total sum ng lahat ng sides. Tama? So, length plus W plus length plus W. So, that will give us 2W plus 2 length. Okay? And then, kailangan natin ng area wherein that is the maximum area wherein that yun yung quantity na yung maximize natin. Okay? Area. Anong formula ng area? Length times width. Okay? And then, create an equation or make an equation based do sa maximize natin. Ano yung maximize natin? The area. Area is equal to length times width. Our problem here is we have two variables. Diba dapat isang variable lang yan. So babalik tayo sa problem. Sabi dito class that the perimeter is equal to 80 centimeters. Okay? So pwede natin giving perimeter is equal to 80 centimeters. And the formula for perimeter is 2W2L. 2W plus 2L is equal to 80. And then, pwede kong palitan si W in terms of L. ba? Para isang variable lang. L lang lahat yon. So, pwede natin gawing 2W is equal to 80 minus 2L. All over 2. All over 2. Cancel. Cancel. W now is equal to 80 divided by 2. That is 40 minus 2L divided by 2. That is L. Okay? So, we can say that W in terms of L is 40 minus L. Okay? Substitute natin doon. Palitan ko na ngayon si W dito in terms of L para isang variable na lang siya which is L. Okay? So, area now is equal to length. Ano yung si W? 40 minus L. And then, area is equal to 40L minus L squared. And then, pag nakuha na natin yung class, anong next step? We get the derivative and equate to 0. So, the derivative of A with respect to your L is equal to, anong derivative ni 40L? So, ang variable natin dito class si L. Kaya 40 minus 2L. Tama ba? Okay. And then, after which, we equate it to 0. So, 40 minus 2L is equal to 0. So, 2L is equal to 40 divided by 2, divided by 2, cancel, cancel. Now, L is equal to 20. So, meron ka ng length. Kung meron ka ng length, pwede mo na makuha si width. Wherein width is equal to 40 minus L is 20. So, W now is equal to 40 minus 20, that is 20. So, yung dimensions nito class, we have length is 20. Okay? Length is 20, width is 20, another width is 20. So, di ba ang perimeter niyan is 80? 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, satisfied. So, that is correct. And then, anong question natin? What is the maximum area? So, the area now class is... Okay, area is equal to length times width. Okay, area is equal to 20 times 20. So that would give us 
400, ano ba? 20 times 20 is 400 square centimeters. Okay? Don't forget your unit. Okay. Clear? Okay. So let's have next example. This one. A farmer has 1,200 meters of fencing and wants to fence off, okay, wants to fence off a rectangular field that borders a straight river. He needs no fence along the river. What are the dimensions of field that has the largest area? So, yung farmer daw class, meron siyang um, 1,200 meters na pang, ano na ang fence, pang alad, pang bakod. Okay? So, babakuran niya ay isang rectangular field. Pero, yung rectangular, gagamitin niya natin yung 1, 2, no? Pero, yung rectangular field niya, sa likod niya ay river. Okay? There's a river. Okay? And then, ang kukoveran niya lang class is itong tatlong side na to. So, hindi niya na idadama yung sa river. He needs no fence along the river na daw. Ang tinatanong is, what are the dimensions of field? So, yung X and Y natin. Okay? And the largest area. So, let's solve for the area later on. Okay, class. Yung 1,200 na yon, okay, ikakasya lang dito sa tatlo dito. 1, 2, and 3. Hindi na kailangan dun sa river. Kasi needs no fence along the river, sabi naman. So, assuming Y din to, kasi para magka-level sila. So, ibig sabihin, class, um, gagawin natin is perimeter na na, excluding the river A, so, X plus 2Y. Lama ba? Isang X kasi no need sa kay river, then plus 2Y. And that is equal to your 1,200. And then, ang kailangan natin ng area is equal to X times Y. Tama? Yun pa rin naman ang area mamaya. Okay. Ano yung ma-maximize natin? Area. Kasi largest area. So, number 2, area. So, let A be the area, no? A is equal to X and Y. Now, still we have two variables. Kailangan natin siyang gawing iisang variable lang. So, gamitin natin yung isang data natin, which is P is equal to X plus 2Y. Wherein ang P natin, given siya, that is 1,200 meters. Okay? So, 1,200 meters equals X plus 2Y. Since nasanay kayo ng X na dinederive, so si Y in terms of X ang gagawin natin. So magiging um, 2Y equals 1,200 minus X. All over 2, all over 2, okay? So cancel, cancel. Y is equal to 1,200 divided by 2, that is 600, and then negative x divided by 2, so that is negative x all over 2. Okay? So, ilipat ko dito, so a now is equal to x times your y, 600 minus x all over 2. And then, a is equal to 600x minus x squared divided by 2. And then we get the First, derivative. So, derivative of A with respect to your X. So, derivative ni 600X. That is 600. Minus, derivative ni X squared. Di ba parang ito class? Pag isusulat mo yan, 1 half X squared. Di ba? So, 1 half times baba, copy the base, minus 1. So, derivative ni base. So, parang X na lang yung maiwan. Nakuha. Okay? So, cancel, cancel. So, that would give us dA all over dx is equal to 600 minus x. Tama ba? Okay? Let me check my ano. Hmm? Saan ako pumunta? Wait. Okay, paki-double check class. Yung sinasolve natin. Or, tama ba? 
So that is x to y. Okay. So sakto. So magiging 0 tong, then equate to 0. So 600 minus x is equal to 0. So x now is equal to 600. Tama? So you have x now is equal to 600. Substitute mo kay y. So y equals 600 minus 600 divided by 2. So y is equal to um, 600 minus 600 divided by 2, 300. So y is equal to 300. Ano yung unit natin dito? Meters. Okay? So, 600 meters, 600, 300 meters. Okay? So, the dimensions class of the rectangular field, okay, the x is 600 meters and then the 2y is 300 meters. So, what is the largest area? So, A is equal to x, y. So, 600 times 300, ilan yan class? 6 times 3 is 18, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 180,000 square meters. That is for the er, yeah. Okay? So if you just question, um, just comment down and then we try to answer. Okay? Hope you learned something from this video.